Hey beautiful, how you doing today? Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Hi, I'm Lucky and today we're going to be talking about whether or not gay guys are attacked in the shower in prison. <laughs> and the short answer would be, you know, sometimes. Of course, it's prison, so anything can happen. And there have been occasions where gay people I don't necessarily think they're attacked in the shower, but somebody would maybe try to go in the shower with them. It happened to me, actually, come to think about it. I was in the program, too. I was in the program, and this guy was talking to me. I used to get a lot of people actually do that. Like, well, when, as soon as, I would be in my cell. Oh, I'm about to get hot. I'm about to get turned up. I would be in my freaking cell. All day long, as soon as I go to that freaking shower, then here comes somebody with a question. And, and like, I'm thinking, like, you couldn't have came to my cell at any point in the day today to ask me this dumbass question. But now that I'm naked, soaping my body up in the freaking warm water, you want to come over. Lucky, lucky. Like, it's like, go on some place. I'm not an idiot. I know, you know, but whatever. You know, it's all part of the game. And I would, yes. <laughs> you know, that's why they call it a game. To answer the questions of y'all that had seen my video talking about how people call the homosexual relationship or the LGBT community relationships in prison the game they call it the game that's why they call it the game because it is it, it really is a game for real it really is a game but uh most of the time from the stories that i have heard and from the different events that i have witnessed most of the time it seems to me that either guys try to solicit themselves in the shower meaning like a guy a, a regular straight guy i need to really work on stop saying regular but a straight guy would get into the shower and typically the booth can be seen the the security booth where the co's are the booth can be seen from the shower. There's two facilities that I was at. I was at a state facility where the, the control booth actually shared the pods. I'm gonna do it this way. This is the control booth sitting up away from the pod. Okay, it's like up in the sky. There's a pod here and there's a pod here. And the booth is completely glass. It's like a glass square, all right? And they're able to see into this pod, and they're able to see into that pod. And right below the, the security booth is showers on both sides, on in both pods. Like in this pod, the showers are over here, right underneath the security booth. And then next to the door, because the door is like here where you would enter in, or here where you would, or here where you would enter in over there. And, like, you come into the pod, the showers are right here below the security booth, and then there's the cells along the wall, and the table's in the middle of the pod. And the same thing, it's mirrored on the other side, you know? So, there were female COs, actually, that they would, they had their picks, they had their favorites, they had their guys, I guess, either that they were talking with, or just that they maybe liked, or just wanted to just see something swinging while the guy is showering. Because, I mean, I would, shit, if I was a female CO, honey, and these guys constant, I, as a queen in prison, in. I can't tell you how many <laughs> sausages and pepperonis people will be trying to sling in my face, wag in my face, in the cell, in the shower, because people, they'll leave the shower curtain kind of cracked open, so this way you can, you know, you can see them. There would be people, I didn't even know that this person even noticed me or anything like that, or was gay, down low, nothing. There was some people like this, gang members, for example, I didn't even know, nothing, had never even thought, because, you know, in prison, I was always trying to, like, keep my eyes to the ground. I did not try to make eye contact with too many people. Actually, a lot of people thought that I was crazy for that, because a common thing in prison is people like to know everyone that is in the pod and I don't mean like friends with everybody I mean like they want to know who they are even if they don't know the names but some people they want to know the names and faces that the of the people in the pod you know but 
if you don't get to know the names, people at least try to recognize all the faces, who everybody is, and where they all are. Like, just, I don't, I, I don't know. Me, I never, I mind my business. I just don't care to know nothing. The less I know, the better. The less people I know, the better. I, that's just how I felt. And it didn't make sense to a lot of people in there, but it made sense to me, you know. So... That could ha there's some there was plenty of times a random person I didn't even really know that was even in this pod, but all of a sudden I'm just sitting at a table. I'm just sitting at a table, and the shower is in my line of view because maybe the TV is here and the shower is behind the TV or something like that, or the door to leave and I'm waiting for Chow, or I'm just playing cards or something like that and I'm sitting on a side where it's facing the shower, and I really wouldn't even notice that somebody has walked into the shower but at some point what I did notice is that that shower curtain would crack open and I'd see somebody's hand like just like how you see my hand like a shadow like this this is what I can kind of see you know or sometimes I could actually see close enough somebody actually they spread their legs you know like <laughs> these guys this is why I'm telling you I'm making these videos they don't want to tell this shit but this is what they were doing in there this is what they were doing in there like that it's a lot of times that this happened it wasn't like once twice one time in this pod this happened this was something that happened practically in every pod that I was in once a week two three four five six seven times a week I mean I don't know because I wasn't keeping track but it happened often enough it happened often enough as often as people get stabbed in prison I think it was like double, maybe triple the time of that, that I, somebody was doing something like that. It was just another form of presenting yourself, you know, like to the queen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like just the same as they give kites, they knock on the, they bang on the door, they try to make contact with you, even if it means starting an argument with you in some kind of way, they give gifts. This is just another way of how guys try to, you know, grab your attention, grab the queen's attention. So there's that. That is to me what I would say that's more common in terms of shower behavior, uh, there are some people that do hook up in the shower. There's been a couple times that somebody had asked me into the shower. I didn't even go. Even at the jail, uh, more people hooked up in the shower at the jail than in the prison because the prison is heavily monitored. For example, like how I just told you, the state facility, the security booth, it was it was right above the showers. And the female COs, they used to love looking into the showers. The guys would gun the, the girls all the time, all the time. People would sometimes get charges, you know, depending on... There were some chicks, I thought that this is kind of messed up. There would be some female CEOs, they would be, like, moody, I guess you could say. The one guy, he got her today, and she stands there and watches him, you know? And then the next day, he does it again, and maybe she watches him, or, or she leaves, or something like that. You know, and then another day, you know, he'll do it and suddenly she writes him a charge. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Or she could have just, she watched him one day and then the next day she writes him a charge, you know. Like, or she could she could watch this guy because that was one thing that used to get some of these straight guys, like, pissed. She would watch this guy. And, you know, that stuff kind of travels around. Like, just like with the queens, the guys, it's the same, like, out here. Like, people talk about, you know, stuff. And it's more so in there because of the small small, like, c you know, community, I guess you could say. Like, the small society. That's what it is. It's a small society, so it's m even more, like, gossip that flies around. It's amazing how fast word travels in there. Like, it's crazy. I still don't know how it's done, but word travels very fast, especially about things like this. So, once a, a female CEO is known for watching the guys or something like that they definitely talk about that because a lot of female COs write them up they will write them charges <laughs> but it's kind of humorous to me because you know it's just like anything else she might not want to see everybody's 
dingling, you know, like, you know, somebody might probably insult her for all I know. She might have a taste for this and not a taste for that, <laughs> you know, and then she sees somebody with a bush out to here or something. She might be like, the nerve that he even thought he could show me this. <laughs> I don't know, you know, but it would be funny to me. Sometimes I would hear these stories where she just in the same day, so-and-so got in the shower, gunned her off and, you know, it was no big deal and then an hour later another dude walks in and he's trying to do the same thing she writes him a charge <laughs> but that's more typical just shower kind of behavior and then as it relates to like the gay people I've told you already they will wag it in your face or something like that they might try to get in the shower with you uh, but in terms of being attacked though I found that the biggest people who are at risk of being attacked by someone in the shower, believe it or not, or just believe it, are actually straight white guys. And I'm sorry to say it, but it's just from all the stories that I heard. Like, I've just heard a lot of stories, and they came from white guys while I was in there. Like, they're the I made a video turning out a homophobic guy, and I'll put the card up here. That video, I talk about how I was in the cell with this guy who was homophobic, and I, you know, we ended up messing around and stuff like that. Either, you, you know, you probably already seen it, or you can check it out. But I didn't in there, I did not mention about how he had told me an incident that happened to him when he was at the higher levels. Because he was actually explaining himself about how he's very intense. He's a very intense person. And he was explaining it, slash apologizing, saying that he's from the higher levels. He had been down, he had been doing time for the past 12 years. And 11 of those 12 years was spent at the higher level, more dangerous security prisons. What I was surprised about, though, is it had open showers because that's usually in lower level facilities. Like, uh, a level one is sort of a camp. It's it's the the Camp Cupcakes, for example. They're practically free. They, they do work release and stuff. They're the people, like, picking up trash in the in the yard and stuff or whatever like looking it looks like they're doing community service that's like level one camps pretty much it's nothing level two camps are think those are the dormitory style facilities like think of a uh, the tv show orange is the new black how they weren't in cells it was like they had like bunks and stuff it was kind of open spaces. That's most female facilities kind of look like that anyway because they, there aren't as many women that get locked up as men. But there are level two men facilities too and they look similar to that. They look like that. Then I was at a level three, which that's the first facility, security facility that has cells and that's where I was and I was glad about it because I wanted to be in a cell even though I had such a hard, difficult time trying to find somebody to to be in the cell with but and they have private showers it's usually three or four shower like alcoves you can pull the the shower curtain like I just said there might be holes in the shower there usually always is holes in every shower curtain uh yeah and then you have the higher levels, four, five, and six. I thought that all of the higher levels had private showers and cells, but he was at some facility that they had an open shower, and he told me that he had to always shower. He developed a habit of always showering with his boots on and a shank in his boots because when he had first arrived back when he was like a lot younger three guys three black guys had tried to attack him in the shower and i don't know if they did or not actually he said tried but uh i don't think i think that either he was able to fend them off a little bit or somebody came and helped him or something but uh yeah. And then there's other stories. I could actually tell you like a couple of different stories of guys, white guys actually, that told me about them being attacked in the shower. And I mean, 
that's why I have kind of a problem with these prison channels. Because I feel like they're a little bit misleading, but I get it. It's YouTube, you know? <laughs> what you gonna do? Hey. Anyway, that's my video, and I hope that you liked it. I have more stories. I'm gonna share some more stories tomorrow, just to kind of keep this one a little on the short side. And don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. Check out my journal, my private journal in the description. And subscribe. I love you. Bye.